Welcome back. In this YouTube video, I'm looking at 13.6 areas under the x-axis. 13.6 represents chapter 13, section 6 of the person A-level maths, your maths, year 1 textbook. Let's go through the key facts of this section. Ladies and gents, consider the following coordinate grid. We've got the curve y equal f of x. The area r is bounded by the positive x-axis and the curve y equal f of x. The lower limit of the area r is x equal a and the upper limit of the area r is x equal b. The area r is given by the integral from a to b y dx. This particular integral will be negative because from a to b the curve y equal f of x is below the x-axis. Now by definition we know that area is always positive. This implies that to calculate the area r we have to actually take the positive value of the integral from a to b of y dx. In other words we take the absolute value of the integral from a to b y dx. These are the key facts of 13.6 areas under the x-axis. I'll be implementing these key facts within an exam style question. Okay, so here is the exam style question. The graph shows the sketch of part of the curve c with equation y equal x multiplied by x plus 3 multiplied by 2 minus x. The curve crosses the x-axis at the origin o and at points a and b. Part A, write down the coordinates of A and B. Okay, so let's have a look at the solution to part A. Ladies and gents, we know that at A and B, Y is equal to 0, because A and B are x-intercepts. We also have an x-intercept at the origin, O. Okay, but for now, let's work out the coordinates for A and B. This implies that we take the equation for Y, which is x, multiplied by x plus 3 in bracket, multiplied by 2 minus x in bracket, and we set that equal to 0. Now we can set each bracket equal to 0, and we can also set the x equal to 0. So we've got x equals 0, x plus 3 equals 0, 2 minus x equals 0. So the first solution is x equals 0, the second solution is x equal minus 3, and the third solution is x equal 2. Therefore, the coordinate for A would be minus 3, 0, and the coordinate for B would be 2, 0. This completes part A of the exam style question. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. Use integration to find the total area of the finite shaded region. Okay, so this shaded region, I'm going to call it R1, and this shaded region, I'm going to call it R2. Let's start off by working out this shaded area over here. So we must take the integral from the lower limit, which is the x-coordinate of a, that is minus 3, to the upper limit, which is the x-coordinate of the origin, that is 0, y dx. So integral from minus 3 to 0, we are integrating y, which is precisely x multiplied by x plus 3 in brackets multiplied by 2 minus x in brackets. So we've got x, x plus 3, 2 minus x, dx. We cannot integrate this as of yet. We need to expand the brackets. Okay, so let's do that. x times 2 is 2x. x times minus x is minus x squared. 3 times 2 is 6. And then 3 times minus x is minus 3x. Okay. So we've got minus x squared, 2x minus 3x is minus x plus 6. Okay, so now I can expand 1, 2, 3 terms with the x. I've got minus x cubed minus x squared plus 6x. So integrating this over here is basically integrating this cubic. So I've got the integral from minus 3 to 0 of this particular cubic. Okay, minus x cubed, minus x squared, plus 6x, dx. So now I can apply term by term integration. Okay. So equal, open square bracket, the first term integrates to minus 1 over 4, x to the power 4. The second term integrates to minus 1 over 3, x to the power 3. And the third term integrates to plus 3x squared. Close square bracket, taking limits from minus 3 to 0. 
Okay, so now I can substitute the upper limit. So replace the x's with 0. This will just give me 0. Take away, substitute the lower limit. Replace the x's with minus 3. So if I substitute x equal minus 3, I get 63 over 4. Okay, so 0 minus 63 over 4 is just minus 63 over 4. So what is area R1? Ladies and gents, area R1 has to be the positive value of this integral. So the positive value of this will just be 63 over 4. Okay, so now I'm going to work out the next shaded area. So for this one over here, I need to take the integral from the lower limit, which is the x-coordinate of the origin, 0, and the upper limit, which is the x-coordinate of b. So the x-coordinate of b is precisely 2, y, d, x. Okay, so I'm integrating from 0 to 2, minus x cubed, minus x squared, plus 6x, dx. We've already done term by term integration. We had minus 1 over 4, x to the power 4, minus 1 over 3, x to the power 3, plus 3x squared, taking limits from 0 to 2. Okay, so now I can substitute the upper limit, replace the x's with 2, take away, substitute the lower limit, replace the x's with 0. So if I substitute x equal 2, I get... 16 over 3, take away, substitute x equals 0, I just get 0. So the answer is 16 over 3. Now, of course, this particular integral will have a positive value because this part of the curve is above the x-axis. So we've got area R2 is equal 16 over 3. Now, we want to calculate the total shaded area. Okay, so total shaded area. Ladies and gents, that will be area R1, which is 63 over 4, plus area R2, which is 16 over 3. Okay, so now I can put this into my calculator, and if I do this, I get 253 over 12 unit squared. That is the final answer for the total shaded area. This completes the exam style question and this teaching video 13.6 areas under the x-axis. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.